Ladies and gentlemen, your boy's right back at it. And of course, I'm your host, Moonshot Max, coming at you once again with another banger video. And I've been hearing some talks around town. You know, we got these people out there that's saying, yo, man, you know Drip is going to go down to zero, yo. All the other coins that came out and all the other tokens that came out on these no projects, you know what I'm saying? They went down to nothing, man. You know, Drip is going to follow, man. I'm not even going to put my money into Drip. What? What? What do you talk about, bro? What are you guys talking about? Where are you getting your information from, man? Man, you're not doing your research, man. Like, what the hell are you talking about? So today, we're going to address this whole, like, drip going out of business thing. We're going to debunk that whole thing. And, of course, we're going to educate the haters out there. And, of course, we're going to educate some people that are potential investors trying to come in. They still didn't decide yet. You know, I'm going to try to push that needle, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to let you guys know what's up with the drip network. If you find substance in this content, please hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. Let's get busy. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I speak that crypto lingo, but of course, guys, I am not a financial advisor. You gotta do your own research when it comes to crypto investing. Drip price is looking pretty good right now, $8.85. Steadily climbing back from that little dip, man. I hope that we reach that $10 to $11 mark pretty soon, especially with all the big news that's coming on up. And of course, guys, the faucet is still paying that 1% every single day, man. Your available balance right here, you could claim it, but people like Bean, you know what I'm saying? We don't don't claim we just hydrate you know what i'm saying especially for that no sell august that's going on right now we're gonna hydrate this 11 drip put it right back into our deposits and we're gonna grow our deposits so let's get busy and do it now before we start the video all right so right now we can see compound success 750 drip now deposited into the faucet so guys in order for us to really debunk this drip going out of business we must establish that cryptocurrency is not going anywhere and this is an article right here that just states the 13 banks that have invested the most in crypto till this date and if you go down the list these ain't no mom and pop banks out there that when you walk into those banks they're mad small and they don't want to give you no loans and none of that stuff and they got all these high fees i'm talking about some of the biggest banks in the world standard charter 380 million BNY Mellon 321 million. We got Citibank 279 million. We got UBS 266 million. We got Morgan Stanley right here. We got Chase 206 million. We got Golden Sachs and all that stuff, and the list keeps going on and on. So, why are banks putting in all this money into cryptocurrency? Because it's a simple rule, man. When your environment starts to change, in order for you not to die in it, you must adapt. And these banks must adapt to cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency is soon gonna take everything over. So they gotta get their investments early while they still can. Can't beat them, you gotta join them, right? So we're gonna further enhance our argument by going to this article right here that's just stating the major retail chains that no longer exist. And me guys, I'm in my early 40s, so there's a lot of you know chains that I used to go to as a kid or even like 10 years ago that does not exist. And let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite chain that no longer exists. But this one right here I want to show you, of course, was Blockbuster Video. And we know that Blockbuster Video was a giant back then renting out these videos all these brand new movies that came out you know what i'm saying you, you could watch it a thousand times and just bring it back in 24 hours and all that good stuff they was doing very well until who until netflix came with the innovation of the streaming and then that was it you know what i'm saying at the peak of blockbuster right it says it was valued at three billion dollars and three billion dollars you know what i'm saying 25 30 years ago is a lot more money that's worth the three billion dollars now as you know so blockbuster right one one of my favorite stores let them keep on going so another store that's been around for quite some time was circuit city <laughs> right they've been around for like 60 years you know what i'm saying but but all of a sudden best buy is the is the, is the place to go you know what I'm saying? And there's a reason why all these chains went out of business. So it is stated right here that CBS News analysis attributed this to the stores becoming too big and therefore too impersonal, as well as the fact that it stopped paying commissions to its sales team. When the financial crisis struck, that was it and it was over. 
So we could see that Circuit City, right, been alive for 60 years, but they went away from who they were, the core of values of who they were. They became too impersonal. Like there's reasons why people like to go to certain stores because they feel at home there. So because the stores became so big and they don't feel at home in anymore, they felt kind of lost. And the fact that its employers was not paying those commissions to the sales team made the sales team not want to work as hard anymore. And because of these factors, right, the store went out of business. So does Drip has the same problem? No, of course not. Drip has one of the biggest communities out there that's very up close and personal. Very enthusiastic people in the Drip network loves to share their Drip, give out airdrops, you know what I'm saying? And of course, people in Drip are very, very enthusiastic about the project. Very passionate about the project. When you join the Drip community, you joining the whole entire network of people that's aligned to the same goal that you have. Drip will always pay you that 1% a day, not stop paying commissions like other node projects in this space and say, oh, we're, oh, we're doing that because we want to sustain the system. But if your system was good enough, you wouldn't have to break down these rewards. But the Drip network, of course, is always king. And the last store I want to talk about, of course, is going to be none other than Toys R Us. Ayo, 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 Moonshot Max, where you going with all this stuff right here? Yo, 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 keep on listening, right? Because there's a correlation, guys, between why Toys R Us failed and the reason why the banks will fail as well. There's certain behaviors and certain things that these banks ain't doing that Toys R Us wasn't doing and Toys R Us went out of business. The only reason why these banks ain't going out of business like Toys R Us is because the banks have, of course, hundreds of billions of dollars. But if they don't start doing these things right here, they are eventually going to fail and they know it. So that's why they're investing into Bitcoin. So you could see that drip ain't going nowhere because of what they are doing. Now, these are five reasons why Toys R Us failed. And whoever been to Toys R Us, let me know down in the comments below. I used to love that store as a kid, man. I used to run around there all day and just hoping to get one or two toys. But of course, some of the toys was very, very expensive. And you know, but I was just happy being there. So one of the reasons why Toys R Us failed was because of the out of town. So we could see that out of town was definitely a problem. And at, at the start, you know, going to a Toys R Us was definitely not close, right? It was like kind of far away. I actually enjoyed that as a kid, like, like spending the day going to Toys R Us. But as the years progress and time was of the essence, especially when the cost of living is going higher, people don't have the time to travel for an hour to get to Toys R Us, take the train, take the bus and all that. They'd rather go to a regular store on the corner that sells the same exact toy. So the problem with being not accessible to everybody crushed down Toys R Us. Now Drip does not have that problem, right? Because Drip is easily accessible to everybody because its faucet is right here. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is deposit your Drip tokens and you have access to this anytime you want. You have access to this on your computer. You have access to this on your phone. You know, it's right there. If anytime you wanna sit there for an hour or two and stare at your Drip faucet, you can do that, which is one of the reasons why Drip ain't gonna go out of business. All right, so reason number two why Toys R Us went out of business is because the new kids on the block, because kids are changing. Why kids are changing? They're changing because they are used to this techie world, the internet, these apps, right? YouTube, everything they do is on the internet. If you wanna catch a kid's attention, give them something that is techie. You giving them a toy nowadays ain't doing much. They're gonna look at that toy for five minutes, play with it, put it down, go right back to the internet. And that's why Drip, of course, is powerful because Drip is on the internet. You can have access to Drip anytime you want. And this is embedded in the minds of all these young kids and these young adults. Not so much for the older folks that don't really know about the internet and all this stuff, but you're talking about a whole a mirage of people that's coming on up, right? That's going to be able to understand this platform and be used to navigating around it. So that's where Toys R Us failed. They didn't come up with something that was techie for the kids to gravitate to, right? 
So the third reason why Toys R Us went out of business is because it got priced out, right? From Amazon, of course, that giant, of course, Walmart. They sold the same exact toys, but they sold it for a cheaper price, especially with the Amazon shipping you get in a couple days. The kids could wait. Back in the days, the kids used to cry, hey, I want the toy now, but they don't care about the toy now. They could wait a couple days, you know why? Because they have the internet. Now, how is this connected to Drip? Well, Drip, of course, has the ability to go up in value. You know what I'm saying? So these banks are priced out because their one to 2% that they give you a year ain't making much moves at all when Drip is giving you 365%, which is freaking awesome. So these banks right now are being priced out. They can't match 365%. They can't even match 100%. They can't even match 50%. I'll be going to these banks and I'm looking like, yo, why should I put my $10,000 in here or my $100,000 in here? Well, you get a shiny new 1.5% on your loan. and blah, blah, blah. What, what, what? What are you talking about, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Because Drip pays me 365%. So why would I leave my money in the bank? And of course, this is never financial advice. So... The banks are getting priced out because of DeFi protocols such as Drip. And we know Drip is the king of DeFi. All right. So reason number four, the lack of drama. All right. So, you know, going to Toys R Us as a kid and even for some parents, right? It was a very magical, mythical type of place that you used to go to and your imagination used to run wild, especially walking down the aisle, seeing the different toys and seeing the different things that you can enjoy when you're at home. And that's the feelings that you had when you used to be in the bank, right? The bank used to offer a CD, right? And that CD used to be one, two, three percent. And I remember my parents used to always go into to their, their banks and getting a CD and being very happy with that one or two percent for that year. And they, and they used to tell me, yeah, you should always put your money in the bank, right? But now, times are different, man. I'm not going into a bank anymore having that magical, mythical, nice experience anymore of a CD. Their one percent is just bull crap because their 1% can never match drips 365%. And on top of that, the compounding feature of drip, because if you have this 750 deposits right now, I could claim it, but I could also continue to compound it to build up this deposits to make even more <coughs> money. And that's where the banks go wrong. They don't have compounding, man. Their compounding suck. And their 0.002 that they give you or 0.01%, whatever they give you, I don't even know anymore because I don't really go in there, right? Is this interesting to the people that go there, all right? So the lack of drama, Drip doesn't have that. Drip has all of it all the drama in the world. When you talk about people on YouTube that's going ecstatic for drip every single day, that's maxing out their wallets, that's talking about financial freedom, people that's living off of drip that, that of course quit their jobs, people that bought um, cars with drip, people that fix up their homes with drip, people that take vacations with drip. Like there is no such thing as lack of drama when it comes to drip, all right? But when it comes to the bank, yeah, we got plenty of that. And last but not least, the reason why Toys R Us went out of business is the lack of imagination. No forward thinking, just doing the same thing decades after decades and expecting the entire culture to just run with it was just stupid. They didn't understand that they have to create change. They have to have utility come out with different things to pique our imagination. They didn't do that. And that's why the banks ain't doing <laughs> because the banks are the same way as Toys R Us. They are not peaking our imagination. They're not coming out with anything new that's going to take them to the next level. And because of that, they are stagnant and they are a dying breed. And that's why they are investing into Bitcoin. But do Drip have a problem with that? Of course not. Because in Drip, we have the Drip faucet right here that's paying 365%. We also have what, guys? We also have the Animal Farm 
that's going to be launching pretty, pretty soon. We also got Scratchy that's coming out. We also have the Drip UI that's going to change and just do things up really nice. They have so many other games coming out and man, so much utility is coming out for the Drip Network. It is not funny. So the lack of imagination the banks have, but when, when it comes to Drip, they have nothing but imagination. Forest Shark is just running the whole thing, creating all these new things and new ideas and just executing them and making them come to life. A lot of these no projects said they was coming out with utility, but they, they couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, let me go to my little star right here and show you a couple things. Look, look at this one right here. Vapor nodes. Oh my Lord. They are done for, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. MetaMask. Let me click on it. My estimated daily income guys is 36 cents. Wow. That is financial freedom right there. Let me go somewhere else guys. And I want to go to another one that was doing pretty well, but now they're gone and that's polar nodes. Look, their website is done. Lack of imagination is just, just not there. And if I go to another one that, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the tavern because even the tavern was making a lot of money and, and, and these are protocols that did pretty, pretty well. Kind of like the circuit cities, right? The Sam goodies, the blockbuster video, they, they did well, but they all collapsed. Like at one point, you know what I'm saying? I had so many breweries right here and I was earning, <sighs> So much money and now i'm earning woo 66 cents a day and the other day i i even tried to claim here and it wouldn't let me claim <laughs> you know what i'm saying my 17 dollars you know what i'm saying which is which is so so crazy and last but not least we have the red light no district right here and they're coming out with a whole new chain and all that so the red light nodes is just gone so when people are saying that drip is going to go out of business, <laughs> take a lesson from Toys R Us and connect it back to the banks and see the reasons why these banks are slowly failing and see why the banks are investing into Bitcoin and see that drip is doing everything, <laughs> which is opposite of what these failing institutions are doing. All right. Drip doesn't have a lack of imagination. Drip doesn't have a lack of drama. Drip is not priced out because while every other node went down to zero, Drip is still paying out that 1% every single day. The new kids on the block, ladies and gentlemen, are going to gravitate towards the Drip network because they already gravitated towards Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay, and all that. Matter of fact, let me, let me show you a quick stat. So right here, we can see, right? 507 million customers for Apple Pay, 150 million for Google Pay, and 100 million for Samsung Pay. You know, if you add all this up, we're, we're, we're pushing close to 750 million people. Now, in the population of 7.97 billion people, you have to ask yourself one thing, that digital money it's the move of the future because most of these people right here, the 750 million people are the younger generation that's doing this. Like my niece right now, ladies and gentlemen, do not walk around with cash. None of them do. Even my son don't like, they don't walk around with cash. They have no need for it. Everything is their credit, debit card, Apple pay, Samsung pay, Google pay. That's how they function. So imagine when this generation right grows up in the next five years, all the wave of kids that's coming up is going to do the same thing. Cryptocurrency is going to be a movement that you are going to be left behind if you don't support it or understand it. So they said that drip is going to go out of business. Are they crazy? Are these haters out here crazy, man? <laughs> they don't know what's going on out in this space. The drip network for me will never go out of business as long as they don't do exactly those five things that Toys R Us did. So guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video. Also, let me know your favorite retail chain that went out of business. And of course, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. This is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'ma see you guys on the next video. Peace out.